took the liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. Okay. All right, so gonna um. Nice one, Murray. <laughs> okay, let's head on over to the next area. It had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot. Ruthless muscle of the fiendish five. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. So he's holed up in Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. bottles. Oh, no cutting yet. Cause we gotta climb up here first. Hey, Sly, I thought you said Mesa City was going to be loud and busy. This looks more like a ghost town. Something's happened. Where is everyone? I don't know, but it's starting to give me the creeps. What do you say we take off? And miss all the fun? Besides, I want to try out that new move I got from Raleigh's section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the Ninja Spire Jump? Yeah. Do me a favor and read me the instructions again. To land safely upon diminutive points, leapeth lively and presseth the triggering device with the round geometrical object emblazoned upon it. So jump and hit the circle button to land on narrow spots. That's a rough translation. Okay, so our new ability is our is we're able to jump onto small points like this, like a ninja. Uh, I wonder if Sly ever wanted to become the Hokage. Uh, yeah, I love I love doing that move. There's gonna be more enemy, another enemy down there. This, these, the dog enemies I really hate. That, wait, you know, you know one thing I just realized. Like, how come? You know one thing I just realized. Like, there's a world where, like, anthrop anthropomorphic humans, like even dogs, and yet there was like a dog chained up over here. Like, what the heck? I guess, I guess it's like, uh, I guess it's like Mickey Mouse rules. I guess. Okay. Whoa, whoa. So one, so one Christmas movie I like, I like watching around Christmas time is uh, Mickey Mouse's Once Upon a Christmas, and you know, like they're all like, Do like it shows Donald's family and like they're all having a Christmas dinner and it's turkey. They're all, like, they all open up the, they all, like, like, Daisy opens up the, uh, opens up the Thanksgiving meal, or the Christmas dinner meal, and they go, ooh, turkey, and I'm just like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, kind of messed up. Okay. But 
But dude, I cannot. But dude, I can like honestly, Christmas is one of my favorite holidays, and I'm kind of. What's with those flashing lights? The latest in high tech security: electronic floor sensors. Step on them, and you're a godder. Nice touch. They're safe to walk on while flashing, but it also means they're about to switch to a different sector. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm kind of sad Christmas is over. Like, it's one of my favorite holidays. That's when all the good holiday specials come on. That's what, and it's with all when all the lights are pretty. And oh, come on, really? Jump. Okay. That's when all the that's when all the fun holiday specials are on. You know, that's when all that's when all everybody decorates their house. Honestly, Christmas is just a fun time for me. And I didn't even, and you know, I, and every day on Christmas I always have like a, uh, holiday binge watch. Like, I'll watch like holiday specials, I'll watch Christmas movies, you know. Unfortunately, I did not get to finish it, I did not get to, fi get to finish my holiday, uh, marathon this year. I fell asleep, I fell asleep during Harold and Kumar 3, so. Okay. Hiya. Hiya. Okay. Not gonna get not gonna give me with that, Hisoka. You're not you're not gonna you're not gonna di diddle any more eleven year olds, bro. <laughs> okay. Hiya. Wait for that. There we go. There's gonna be a bad guy coming out here. Whoa! Okay. It's gonna be... I do believe the safe is gonna be up there, but we're not gonna be able to unlock it yet. But I know that there's gonna be some clue bottles up here. Hi ya. Okay. And come on, there we go. Jump. Okay. okay. Whoa. Hi ya. Was there? No. Ah, another Hisoka. Okay. In case you guys don't know who Hisoka is, he's from uh, he's from Hunter Hunter. Definitely a show I recommend watching. Okay. Okay. Or is it or is it Hunter X Hunter? You know, like that's some that's something no, it's definitely Hunter Hunter. So Ah crap. Okay. Let's go ahead and head back over to here, gonna go in and try and get that safe. Ah, itchy. So we've unlocked the mind cap ability. So pretty much what this ability does, like Bentley explained, 
Press triangle to throw our hats. Get a new one. Get us get to a safe distance and boom. Perfect, perfect for uh, sneak attacks. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the key and then head on over to the hub to the main hub area of the of the area. Okay, now these coins in now these coins in uh, Mesa City. Now those ones are just like regular dollar signs. So okay. There should be cutscene activating here. Well, this mugshot certainly isn't shy. Okay, so we know he's here somewhere, but how are we supposed to find him? Mesa City is a big place! Given that he's a bulldog, it seems only reasonable to assume that he chooses to live in a giant fire hydrant. That's some sound logic, Sly. Now you just need to find a way to break into the building's base. Oh, I'm sure I'll think of something. Okay, just gonna wait for this guy to turn around. Yo, hey, yo, yo! It is the boss! You know, I need a voice to quit me that may be driving everyone out of town. While necessary to set up shop, might have taken a hit out of the business. So, now I hope you must be obliged to any business that come here or lose their money in my casino. But, I got a reliable tip that a cop might be stupid around. Okay. Let's go ahead and take this mission on first because this is one of my least favorite missions in the game. <clears throat> yeah. Wait. Oh no, this is no, this one's okay. So in position to make a run for this key. Okay, so what do I do? Provide some covering fire for him with that blasting station. Sweet. Use the left analog stick to aim and press the square button to fire. I'll do my best. Alright, so it's gonna be a turn section, not really gonna be too much of a hassle. I know how to play the I know how to I know how to do this. It's Alright. Hey, get over here. Pretty much all we got to do, we just got to protect Murray while he goes and collects the key for us. Right. Just got to make sure we don't hit Murray because he, because we can kill him. Oh, crap. Yeah, gotta be gotta be careful because there are gonna be some uh, explosive barrels that'll kill Murray if we shoot it, or if he gets too close. And there is gonna be like one section where oh, here, let me get rid of those guys. Oh crap. That actually that actually killed that guy. Nice. Okay, and there should be one coming out from over there. Alright. Okay, yeah, I gotta be careful with that part because that part will trick you into 
attention to firing because there's going to be explosive barrels that'll kill Murray if you shoot them, so... Oh, okay, there he goes. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to kind of get into some hard parts because we're trying to keep Murray from getting shot at by those machine gun enemies. Whoa, whoa. Get over there. Shoot him. Okay. No, shoot it. Shoot that guy. Okay, good. Okay, so pretty much took care of that area. Like I said, that was not the hard. That was not the hard part of this. That hard level of this area. So, whoa! Crap! 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 Really? Jeez. There. Okay, what is happening with me? Cause I could, cause I swear there's there was some uh, blue bottles in this part. Nice job getting in, but look out for those guards. Mugshot's got those machine gun toting dogs hunting like a pack. <laughs> yeah, some of these power-ups are useless, but they're fun to use. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna do that again. Just gonna give it a minute. Come on. Boom. Easy. Okay. Okay. And no. Oh, there's another horseshoe over there. And we'll have to take care of those guys before we could get those clue bottles. Hiya! Right. Yeah, there's some clue bottles up there, so we'll have to go get grab those first. Because we could have just, like... Because we could have just missed those enemies altogether, but want to try. Cause I always, I always try to collect all, all the clue bottles when I start a new game on Sly Cooper. So. <clears throat> okay. Hiya. Okay. Some clue bottles over here, but first I'm gonna try and get this. Okay, what the heck? There should be. Oh, wait, that's right, yeah. Just a bunch of coins, nice. Let's go ahead and grab these clue bottles. more. Nope. Okay. Oh, there's some right, there's one right here and there's a couple over there. Nice. Just go ahead and... Hiya! Okay. 
thought there was some clue bottles up there. Okay. So, you know, this is why you don't skip leg day, guys. You do not want to skip leg day. Whoa! Okay. I think in I think this next area will unlock the blueprints to the area. So it'll be a lot easier for us to find all of our clue bottles. Hi. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay. Just gonna climb up here. I'm sure we'll find some more clue bottles in a bit. Yeah, okay, here, let's wait until this guy. Alright. Uh, this is gonna be a bit tricky. Get out of here. Uh, whoa. Holy crap. Alright. Oh my god, break. Alright, so there's the save, but we need to find one more clue bottle and it should be... There it is. Okay. So we pretty much unlocked the fast ability. So as you can see, I'm holding down triangle right now. And time is kind of going a little bit faster. That'll kind of help out a lot better than the roll, honestly, if we ever have to, like, get through a level super fast. Sly, this giant roulette wheel is spinning too fast to jump counterclockwise around it. You'll have to jump in the other direction to try to land on the green section. Okay, so pretty much like Bentley explained, we gotta try and we gotta try and hit the green areas. There. Okay. All right, so we pretty much got rid of that area. How many keys do we have? We have three, but I'm gonna try and collect all of the keys. Get out of here. And I think over here is gonna be is gonna be the level that I dislike the most. <laughs> I always love the I always love the fight music in the in this area. It just goes bow wow. Yeah, okay. We're gonna we're gonna do this level. Going on down there. Well, I drove to this hot dog stand for a quick snack, and the next thing you know, I'm getting challenged to a race by these gangster dogs. Is there a key in it for the winner? Yeah, 
three times around the track for a key. It's all you, man. Drive the van with the left analog stick. And if you manage to pick up any nitro power-ups, you can get a boost by pressing the square button. Go get them. I'm on it. All right, so it's going to be a race level, and these are going to be kind of the wonkiest racing level mechanics. Oh, come on. Yeah, you see? Because trying to get some nitro cards so I could get faster, but... All these freaking all these freaking other racers they keep taking them from me. They don't even use them. Don't you dare. There. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and save a couple of them. Don't you dare. Okay. No! What the heck? All right. Okay. I'm going to try and boost my way. Come on. Okay, maybe I should try and save my nitro boosts. Try and collect them. No, you you jerk. Yeah, the yeah, the NPCs don't even use them. Get out of here. Screw you. Just got to catch up with these guys. Oh my god, really? I'm taking my nitro car my nitros. No, no. Okay. Oh my gosh. You know why? Now you know why I hate this part so much. Ah, get away. No. Aichiwawa. You. No! Come on! What the heck? Okay, now you see why I hate this area because the. I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's cool that, like. I mean, it's cool that, like, uh, you don't have to hold down a button to accelerate, but it's still, but it's still stupid that these guys can take your nitro carts and they don't, and they don't even use them. No, that's mine. Give me that. You don't even, you guys can't even use them. Only I can use them. Okay, just gonna try and use them carefully now. No, come on. What the heck? No! What the heck? Screw you. Get out of my way. No. Don't you dare break my nitro cart. Come on, I'm catching up to you, you you Beverly Hills Chihuahua ripoffs. Nobody, nobody, nobody else but George Lopez can play a good can play a good Chihuahua. Well, except well, except maybe that one dude from uh, put from Puss in Boots too. I love, like I do, like I did love, I did love, uh, I did love Pochito. Was his name Pochito? That's funny because I just watched that movie not too long ago too, so, and I already forgot his name. Like, if you haven't seen Puss in Boots 2 yet, re definitely watch it. It is a must watch. Okay, finally got that, got the crappy levels out of the way, so... Yeah, because after that, it's going to be all platforming. Good.
Everybody knows... Everybody knows ra racing levels in platformers are no bueno. Anybody, anybody that grew up with a PS2 should know that. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab these coins. I want to get... Yeah, I want to get an extra life. Okay. Okay. 